go and save Africa. No water. Sickness. Extremely hot. Mosquitoes flying around them. Living with animals. People are killing each other. Either famine or war. I'm tired of this. Seriously. Show the good things. I know that there's about 2,000 languages in Africa. I think about forests, red dunes, football, dancing. Okocha, Eto, Drogba. We see that Africans run very fast. Do they all run fast? <laughs> Laughing people, actually. <laughs> <laughs> We're listening to news about Africa from the people that colonized it and then left it in the situation that it is right now. And then they're always saying like, oh, we need to give them aid, they're in need of humanitarian assistance, but you're kind of responsible for that. I would be really annoyed if I was from Kenya, for example, and somebody just said, oh, you're from Africa. Because the thing is, Africa is a continent. Please, please. Africa is not a country. There are 54 different countries in Africa. Niger, not Nigeria, please. Make sure you make the differences because there are two different countries. I know Turkey from Turkish movies. Pola Telamdar. Ertuğul. Ottoman Empire. Turka Vesti. Eating kebab. Donut is famous. Chai. Baklava. Şeker pare. Turkish delights. Turkish brands. Clothes. Shoes. Turkey is known as one of the most ancient countries in the world. Turkey is a country that is between Europe and Asia. I don't think you can know Turkey without knowing Istanbul. If you want to conquest the world, you have to conquest Istanbul because Istanbul is like the center of the world. Ankara is the capital of Turkey. I've been thinking all along that Istanbul is the capital city, but it's not. Oh, I heard there's something called the Black Sea. I would really want to go there and uh, look at the sea because I believe it should be black, isn't it? I knew Turkey thanks to Didier Drogba, the guy who was playing with Galatasaray. That time we just started go rushing to market just to buy this Galatasaray shirt. From news, mostly about Africa is either famine or war. All they show, poverty, lack of education, there is no water, there is war. Africa is a land rich of resources, we have water. Water is not a problem, please stop. The media has a very specific way of talking about Africa. Now on media, like they are painting the continent on a very depreciative way. People when they see something about Africa, they say, oh my god, why are they doing something? Don't judge, it's African culture, it has a value for these people and you have to respect TRT Africa should show to the world that Africa is a very, very beautiful continent, very rich, people in there are very happy. I would like for African culture to be shown. We have our own traditional clothes. We have kitenge, hanga. Their daily lives, their culture, how they cook, what ingredients they use, what spices they use, what types of coffee they like, how they make the coffee. I want to know more about their sense of art, their sense of community. I would like for Terete Africa to show Africa as it really is. I want to see the, the African outfit, the African news also, the presentation, the dishes. I want to see all of this. There's culture, there's food, and there's so much more. Make sure that you don't portray Africa in a way that these other medias do. Africa is harmonious, it's beautiful. Yes, we have our problems, but it is still a good place to live in. I'm excited. Territory Africa can show in a very new way these real potentialities of the continent. I hope that they will do a great job. Please show that not every kid walks barefooted. That's not true, yeah? Oh, I get so angry thinking about this. Africa is bigger than that. <laughs>